are you? How is life? How are things? I know it's been a while, but I've been busy. You know, I've been in Europe. I've been uh, moving. As you can tell behind me, the woman cave has changed quite drastically. It's actually tripled in size. And as my grandpa Bob used to say, children will do that to you. I don't have, actually I do have a grandpa Bob. Oopsie. <laughs> Huh. You know, like Grandpa Bob is just like one of those go-to names that you use, and it's kind of funny because I actually do have a Grandpa Bob, and I'm very close with him. I just completely had a her moment. But anyway, yes, I am moved in. I still have a bunch of stuff to do, but um, I'm hoping now I can get these videos cranking out more. And I know I've said that a million and a half times. And I know I've said that I've said that a million and a half times, but this time I mean it, mean it. And plus it's summer, so it's garage sale season. So I have a lot of games to show you. I'm so excited. Fuck. There's, there's wasps, dude. Like I have this huge window right here and there's like two or three. Yeah, you can't even, you shall not pass. <laughs> God, I feel so good about that. I hate bees. I'm scared shitless of them and they're trying to get in and they can't. And I just feel like King Turtle Shit Mountain right now. All right, the first game I got was Grand Theft Auto 4 for $2. And, boom, the disc was in here. I always get really excited when I find PS3 games and Xbox 360 games for like two bucks. It's like, yeah. That's how I got my copy of Bayonetta, actually. Some kid was selling his for like a buck fifty. And I went home and played it, and I beat it. Thank you, kid. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Unfortunately, yeah. Um. I knew the game wasn't in here. I have a lot of RE3 discs that are just floating around and I needed a case. I guess more than inserts is what I needed. And uh, so this will suffice, this will work. I didn't pay a lot for this. I actually got, hold on. Yeah, this box full of um, random stuff, not the Xbox games, but um, the CD, CDs and games mixed for buck fifty or something. She was just trying to get rid of everything and it was her son's. So this was in there. So it's not like I paid like five bucks for this or anything. And I don't really know what's in here. So let's find out together. Also, I don't know if you guys do, you know, the garage sailing, scrounging for games too. I've always found that like a buck fifty is the magic number. Almost anyone will take anything for a buck fifty. That's why I like um, my Bayonetta copy was a buck fifty. I offered a buck fifty on this box of games, and they're always like, "Okay." I don't know. It's a magic number. Blind Guardian. Can't. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a game. It's a. It's a band. <laughs> what I do like about this band so far is their number one song is called Inquisition. That's very applicable to my Dragon Age um, obsession. Inquisition. So excited. Oh. Battle Cruiser 3000 AD. Oh. Warcraft. Orcs and humans. Oh. Asheron's Call. Hmm. Let's just take a moment. Let's put the brakes on and let's talk about Asheron's Call for a minute. Oh. So about three years ago, I went on this date with this guy, right? And you know, of course, talking about video games, it was like the topic of the night. And he would not stop raving about Asheron's Call. And he was telling me a bit about it, you know, it was an MMO back in the 90s. And he just went on and on and on and on about it. So finally I gave in and I paid for a subscription and I downloaded the game and holy fuck nuts, it is so much fun. Like, insane amounts of fun. If MMOs are your thing, if nostalgia is your thing, I suggest you give it a go. I actually think it may have gone free to play recently, but I'm not entirely sure about that. And it's kind of weird referring to Asheron's Call as an MMO because it is, but there's not that many people playing, so chances are you're gonna have all the dungeons and all of the towns and all of the vendor, whatever, to yourself. So, you know, give it a shot. Warcraft 2. Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness. <laughs> Unreal. And check out that. See that picture? Um, on the side right here, it says actual gameplay screen. Because that was a big deal back in the day. Unfortunately, growing up, I wasn't much of a PC gamer. I mean, I had DOS and played like a few things on that. So there's a chance a great chance that a lot of you are geeking out over these games more than I am. So enjoy the geek out because I honestly don't know what a lot of these are. Battle Realms Diablo 2 soundtrack. Yay! It's in there! It's 
sweet! Until Diablo 3 came on consoles, I had only played the first Diablo on the PlayStation. Remember that? Yeah, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I'm really- I, I love Diablo 3. I really love it. I'm really excited for some consoles next month. Um, Quest for Glory 5 Dragonfire. This looks fucked up, man. It's too bad. Oh! Oh yeah! I, okay, I remember this. Final Fantasy 8. Um, again, I have a lot of loose discs floating around, but, you know, I'll always take a complete copy. Because complete copies are good. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Um, Nightfall in the Shadows? And, um... A blank disc is, I don't quite know what these are, but anyway, I guess the case is in relatively good condition, minus the two cracks on each side. <sighs> Silva, Adam Sandler, Shaggy, and Dungeon Hack. Oh! Well, this is cool. Okay. All right, you have my attention. Dragon Ball Z, the best for family. I've never seen this before. Clearly, it's a Dragon Ball Z game for the PlayStation, Japanese version. Uh, this is really cool, actually, because I am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. But, um, yeah, I was not expecting that. If you guys know more about it, please. And if you know more about these games that I'm showing you, or if you played them a lot as a kid, let me know. I geek out over that kind of stuff. Vicarious nostalgia, right? Disciples 2, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. And I think that will do it for our box of wonders. Thank God. My hands, like, have weird shit all over them. I don't know what to do with all of this. And finally, for a whopping 100 cents each, I have yet another copy of Grand Theft Auto 3, the Xbox collection. Because everyone needs five in their lives. Life. We're not cats. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. I have never played any of these. Never played any of these. I should probably do that. Yeah. Rocky. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I don't have this game, actually, so I guess it was a good buy from a collector's standpoint. Geon Cube. What the fuck is a Geon Cube? It's a Wii game, everybody. And what would a garage sale haul video be without a copy of Halo 2? What would it be? I'm going to count and see how many of these I have. See if you can... That's my, uh, in-progress Xbox shelf. Yeah. That's it? I guess I only have four copies. Thought I had a lot more than that. But, <laughs> I guess that is a little, little much. Well, thank you for watching my first 2014 garage sale haul video. There should be many more to come. I actually have another pile here, and then I don't know if you saw it, but behind me in the corner, there's like another pile of stuff, and that's all games. Yay! See you next time!